Hello, my name is Cindy and welcome to my channel. This channel has all been all about teaching online and I do have some life skills videos. So I live in New Hampshire. I have some New Hampshire videos as well. And I have some instructional videos because I am a math teacher. And I just was thinking, you know, I, I have not really made many videos about the fact that I have 13 kids. Yeah, that's right, 13. So my youngest is actually 14. And I thought, hey, it's Valentine's Day um, tomorrow. Today's February 13th. So I thought, why not on February 13th give you 13 smart things I did while bringing up 13 kids. So here we go. As a mom of 13 kids, and uh, yeah, I, I went to college to be a math teacher, and I am a Christian, so when it came to having children, I thought, you know, let's just let God, you know, decide how this family is going to grow. And so God's design was to give me 13 kids. And through the years, I'm sorry to say I've made a lot of mistakes. And I really don't like to think about them, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> My poor kids have, you know, put up with some some hard times because of my inexperience, you know, and, you know, sometimes bad decisions as a mom. But I thought I would like to just reflect on some, some good choices that I made as the mom of 13 kids. So here we go. Number one, I will say that uh, when I got pregnant with my first child, I had decided that I would be a stay-at-home mom. So even though I went to school to be a math teacher, I wanted to be home with my children. And so I immediately, I was teaching at the time, and then I immediately decided I'm going to be a stay-at-home mom. And so that meant that we were going to live on one income. And so I, I think that was a really good idea because um, I learned how to live very frugally. We lived on one income and what I would do for my budget, like food budget or whatever, is I would get a certain amount of cash. I would, that would be my cash for the week. And I would use that for food money and gas money. And so I would make that stretch because, you know, I didn't have a credit card where I could just keep going and spending more and more money. I just kept it to one certain amount. And we, we were done using up the gas in my gas tank. That was it. And uh, so that's what I did from early on. I just really wanted to keep my, my spending during the week to a limit. We had actually were married for three years before we had our first child. So we had made the mistake of we're using the same bank account. Both of us would take out money and then we realized, you know, we both took out money and that wasn't working out. And so I thought it was best for me and being at home to be frugal and to make a limit to my spending and not use my card. And then my husband wouldn't know it and then we would get into financial trouble. So that's one thing is that I kept to a strict budget for food and for general living during the week. I, when my oldest one was in kindergarten, we lived near a Christian school. We were able to send her to a Christian kindergarten. But then we moved again and I decided that I was going to try homeschooling. Homeschooling wasn't really my first choice, but I had read, I ended up reading a lot of books about it and I decided that it was a really good choice and I was going to give it a try. And at this time we lived in Massachusetts, which was, um, you know, we just decided we would give it a try. And I tried it. I had a lot of kids under, I ended up with five kids under like <laughs> five or something crazy like that. And so I was going crazy trying to homeschool. So at that point, we were able to move to another location where my husband worked at a church and my kids went to school for a few years at the school that they had there. So that was really cool. So I haven't always homeschooled and it's not like homeschooling is my only choice, but I have been in situations where that was the choice that we made at the time. 
So after my kids went to school at that place for three years, we ended up moving to another location. And I, that's when I really ended up homeschooling and we stretched that out into several years. And I do really look back on some of those years were really, really hard, but some of those years were really great because we were able to do things as a family. So I was able to, my kids, my older kids took music lessons. And so we spent a lot of time dedicated to music practice, music lessons, orchestra, things like that. And so I don't regret that at all. I'm really thankful that we had the experience with the music. And I'm glad that we did the homeschooling. We were able to take what we learned for music and we went to nursing homes. We, the kids played at church. They sang songs at church and things like that. So I really, really am thankful that that was a choice. So let's see choices for schooling. We did some school and we did some homeschool. The last several years, about six years, seven years, I've been working in a Christian school, private school, and my kids that I have now are going to school. And so that also has its advantages. Um, I have, you know, my load is a little lighter as far as being the only teacher for my kids. My kids are interacting with other students and things like that. So I like that choice too. I, I'm thankful that I've been able to make different choices along the way. Some of the things that we were able to do along the way also were um, purchasing things, okay? So as a large family with one income, a lot of our purchases were frugal choices, okay? We, we don't usually buy new cars, we buy used cars. Sometimes we've had cars given to us, which has been a blessing, but you can't count on that all the time. Um, but usually we live very frugally and we would rather, you know, live frugally than to spend, overspend and get into debt. So that's the other thing is we just decided a long time ago, no car loans and no credit card debt. So that means that, you know, sometimes we do without, but that's okay. And okay, so then also we ha have made church a priority. So we've gone to church every Sunday. Um, that was a priority for me even before I got married and my husband as well. So we go to church every Sunday and my kids have been active in the church. Um, my kids have also been taught to help others. And so that's been great. They're very they're grown up now and all of them I can say they they love people and they love to have friends they love to help people They're the first ones to lend a helping hand and that's kind of how we taught them as they grew up um, so oh one thing that we did for many years is we totally got rid of the TV we totally got rid of it for many years. And for a while there, we had no TV at all. Then we ended up, we would get videos. As the kids got older, like I had older kids and younger kids, especially when we would go out and leave the kids home together, you know, we had old enough kids to babysit, but then what does everybody do at the same time? So we ended up allowing them to do videos and through the years we ended up adding and adding, you know, now we're one of the normal families that has way too much screen time. But for many years we had absolutely no TV. So that was, that was a great choice. Um, I really like the family trips that we took. Um, we did have a 15 passenger van for for many years and we were able to take some really cool family trips one of the greatest trips that we took was we went to uh, Williamsburg Pennsylvania with some other friends that had large families as well and that was a very memorable time we were able to have uh, learned some history and we were able to visit with other families I actually met them through a group online mothers of many young siblings and we had a great time. I think that was one of our favorite family vacations. We also have gone to, we went up north, we went camping. Um, we've done a few different things. Sometimes we've had staycations where we just stay home and do things from home. So that's been great. So time with the family and even though, and we always do it on a budget. 
you know so we have a plan we'll buy food we'll have a cooler and we make our own sandwiches and things like that so we've always learned how to do it on a budget one thing that i've really not regretted is that i've taught my kids how to look for deals and I did this when my kids, my older kids were quite young, like everybody would go into the store, we would, I would show them what I usually buy and show them how deals, you know, buy this one because it's cheaper and that kind of thing. And eventually I could sit in the car with the babies, you know, in their car seats and everything, drop the older kids off and I give them a little bit of money and they would go in and buy us some snacks for say we're going to the park or something. And they were really good at it. And I have to say that now that my girls are older, they are excellent at finding good deals. And they really learned a lot and they learned to do without a little bit and not to always have the best of everything and to be smart about what you buy. So that's really awesome. Um, we learned a lot of life skills and like I taught them to knitting. So one year, all the girls, they learned how to knit a poncho. And one year we were able to go up the street to the lady who had sheep and we bought yarn from her that she got off of her sheep. She spun it herself, she dyed it and we made mittens out of that yarn. So that was really awesome. And also the year we went to Williamsburg, the girls were able to make their own colonial dresses. We got patterns and we got fabric and they actually went to my mom's house and spread out all over the place and they were able to make their own colonial dresses and they came out amazing. So that was a wonderful experience too. So, and I've taught them how to cook. They, one year I had a lot of teenagers. So every night of the week, each kid had a different night to make a meal. So I told them, I said, you can either make the same meal on your night every week if you want, or you can tell me the alternate meal that you want to make and I'll make sure I have the ingredients and then that's your night to cook. So that was pretty good. So I can remember one of my kids made pizza every Wednesday. Another one of my kids made Kate, uh, with this chicken enchiladas, and that was really good. I had never really made it before that, and so we made the recipe and we said, Hey, you know, if you want to make this every week, I'm fine with that. You know, it's only once a week. So, those, so those are some things that I am really glad that I was able to do while I raised my kids. Um, you know, I'm really glad that they have each other now that they are older. They always look out for each other and they always, you know, check on each other, help each other out, um, make sure they're all OK. And I think that's really awesome because, you know, it's it's a bond. You can't create any other way. Right. <laughs> so I hope you like this video and I hope that this inspires you maybe for whatever you might want to do for your family. You know, you don't have to have 13 kids to institute some of these good choices. Now I'm here to say that there are a lot of things that I didn't do very well, but I might make uh, another video about that. And thank you for watching. And I might make another video with some, some more uh, thoughts about raising 13 kids. And so stay tuned. Hope to see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Happy Valentine's.